Yo, what's up, people? This is Papa Bale. Welcome to the channel. And we're going to give this thing a whip with one stator magnet on the outside and the stator disc on the bottom. Mark 20 seconds. I think it's great. I mean, it's this right here could probably generate 150 volts if everything was done right in the coil on the outside. When like just in a three coil setup. Yep. So we're at like almost a minute. See what we're debating here is whether the uh, stator magnet on the outside yoked will help this or hinder it. The current best time I have is without the stator for nine minutes and 30 seconds. with only the disc underneath. And that is permanent magnet motor zero. This is permanent magnet motor one. Now see that pole that I just pulled out of there is probably causing a lot of problems. Two minutes. Now see, like, if we could hook up like a piston uh, pulley assembly, you know, the piston assembly for the stator magnets, um, hook it to the rotor. And, oh wow, that could really work. That could work. I just need the need the pieces. See, at every uh, joint, you have a bearing so that it's free to move, like just awesomely. You know, it can keep moving. Oh wow! And as it goes around. Um, like a track or something forces the pistons to open and close which is basically just the magnet moving closer and out in and out in and out in and out three minutes and I have three magnets hooked up to this uh, piston system like the Yeah, I just, that would be really awesome. If I knew how all that stuff worked, <laughs> I'll figure it out. If it's important enough to me, I will figure it out. Um, see, I've been, I was thinking like have like one of these poles that could bend really easily. And when a magnet would come around, the magnet would push the pole back with the magnet on it and each one of these poles will have a magnet on it and then it'll push the magnet back and then when the magnet passed it would you know come back in and that's when you would get your 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 propulsion and then it would continue like every time a magnet would come around it would push it out and put it back in and then you have like 12 of these doing that at the same time or alternating
All right, we're coming up on five minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Halfway there. So, I mean, like of anything, you either got to have a full stator, which would be 12 magnets around the outside, or just one, or none. You can, either way, one, all, or none. <laughs> Coming up on six minutes here. Now, this right here is what that stator magnet is yoked with. This is aluminum wire, millimeter thick. Six minutes. And I was just, you know, I'm figuring as long as one of these things is moving, a stator or a rotor, you can have motion. But if they're both moving, then I, I think you can get acceleration. Yes, yes, man, that is so steampunk. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Because you're working with the pistons, which could be operated by steam if you wanted, if you could build it that way. Yeah, that's, wow. I just, I gotta, I gotta learn how that stuff fits together. Seven minutes. <clears throat> All right. Looks like we're coming to the end, though. But yeah. Um, and they could be like the plastic from a 3D printer. Just the arms of the piston. Eight minutes. All right, so eight minutes and 10 seconds. Not as good, but pretty good. So we're gonna do another experiment we're going to take out the stator because I have little magnet I changed the levitation disc a little bit to give more lift All right, ladies and gentlemen, peace out. Please subscribe and have a great night.